Hello, this video is going to be about uh, how to construct the integrators and differentiators uh, using capacitors, resistors and also operation amplifiers. So I've been wanting to do this video also as a refresher for myself uh, and also to uh, help everybody understand these concepts. So let's see for example what happens if we have for example a voltage source here we have a circuit with a voltage source we pass a resistor put a resistor in here and a capacitor in here so this is C, this is R plus minus, this is plus minus and we are interested in the voltage across the capacitor so this is the output ok so let's call the voltage, the output voltage V this is V and there is also a voltage across the resistor there is a node here which is uh, which is um, from this node to this node is the voltage V there is also a current I flowing to the circuit and the voltage, the input voltage we will call VI ok so for the capacitor the current I is equal to C dVc by dt for the resistor we know that I is equal to VR over R by Ohm's law <coughs> so let's see what happens here let's solve this circuit so the current entering this node is equal to the current leaving the node so the current entering the node is VI minus V over R which is the voltage across the resistor divided by re the resistance and this uh, current has to be equal to the current through the capacitor which is C dV by dt ok let's now divide both sides by uh, C so VI minus V over RC is equal to dV by dt and now I'm not going to solve this equation um, it's very easy to solve this equation the solution is the, the exponential and um, what uh, I'm trying to do here is to show you the intuition behind this and how we can get something out of this without too much effort now for example if, if V here is much less, much smaller than VI then we can ignore this term here V and we are left with VI over RC is simply equal to dV by dt and now if we integrate both sides of this equation we get with respect to time we get that the 1 over RC integral of VI dt is equal to V of t so what this equation is saying is that the voltage V across the capacitor is equal to 1 over RC times the integral of the input voltage so this is this is an integrator so this will take the input voltage and integrate it and give us the result now this will only be valid if V is much less than VI if not then the circuit would get out of phase and it, but it will no longer be a perfect uh, integrator like this now we can assure this to be true if RC the product RC is really really large because if RC is really really large then this term here gets really really small and it behaves as though VI minus V is almost zero so so okay so this is this and now let's uh, go and do another circuit let's let's have again the voltage source plus minus here and now we do the inverse we put the capacitor here and a resistor here so this is VI this is plus minus plus minus we're interested in the voltage across the resistor let's call that voltage V this is capacitor C this is resistor R and there is a current I flow in here okay so 
let's do the same thing now so the current through the resistor is equal to the current through the capacitor the current through the capacitor is V I minus V derivative with respect to time times C this is equal to V over R so uh, we have that let's just rewrite this as D by DT of V I minus V is equal to V over RC and so and so here we have let's see here let's separate this so D by DT V I minus D by DT of V is equal to V over RC and now if we can guarantee that the uh, D by DT of V here is much smaller than D by DT of VI then we simply get the D by DT DVI by DT is equal to V over RC and that means that the um, the derivative of the input voltage is equal to the voltage across the resistor divided by RC and this is this is a, a differentiator it's the opposite of the integrator so the differentiator so this takes the input voltage VI differentiates it with respect to time and the result is equal to V divided by RC so these are uh, simple ways that we can build uh, differentiators and integrators now this all, all also this the problem with this approach is that it constrains the values of R and C in one case RC has to be large and the other case RC has to be small so so here I'm just giving myself some space here okay so let's see if we can uh, remove those constraints by using uh, operation amplifiers so let's suppose we want to build a differentiator okay so we build ourselves an operation amplifier first here so we have the minus input the plus input we we'll have V out here we we'll have minus here we ground the positive rail so here let's see what happens let's give this op amp some negative feedback so this is R now let's see Be by the virtual ground because the positive input is connected to ground and because the, the gain of the operation amplifier, the gain A is really almost infinite with respect to this and because VO is finite we assume that VO, VO is finite and the gain is infinite in that case then the V V plus minus V minus times A is equal to V naught so that means that V plus and V minus are almost equal to each other uh, and that's because uh, it's almost zero so zero times an infinite constant will give you a constant value so these are almost almost the same and it, because that is so we know that the plus input is zero volts so that must mean that this one is also at zero volts and this is called a, a virtual ground it's not really ground but because the voltage is really close to zero we call that a virtual ground so there will be a current flowing into here and this current doesn't flow into the minus input because also the ideal operation amplifier has infinite input impedance so let's write here also infinite infinite input impedance 
and that means that no current flows inside here so the current takes the other way and goes through here and flows in, into the, the resistor there so let's see what we can do here now if we take we need for example we know that the, the current through a, through a capacitor the current through a capacitor is equal to C dV by dt which is the uh, capacitance times the, the derivative of the voltage across it so if we connect a capacitor here and a voltage that we want to differentiate here Vi C plus minus ground this voltage is going to create a current this voltage is going to create a current through the capacitor this current will be equal to C times dV dt now dV dt is the, the, uh, the derivative of the voltage across the capacitor what's the voltage across this capacitor? if the voltage at this node is Vi and the voltage at this node is 0 volts then the voltage across the capacitor is also Vi so that means that the current through the capacitor is equal to C dVi by dt so we have the first step done the current is equal to C dVi dt this current cannot go into the op pump so it will go upwards and pass through this resistor and now what is VO? VO is equal to 0 volts here 0 minus the current I times the resistor I so that means that VO is equal to 0 minus what is I? I is C dVi by dt and this times R so that means that VO is equal to minus RC dVi by dt and we have our differentiator so here this final equation gives us our differentiator and this differentiator is much better than the previous one because it doesn't require RC uh, it doesn't constrain RC and the, the, the reason we were able to do this is because of this virtual ground if the voltage here were not zero we would have the same problem as, as we had before because the voltage here is zero and that's because we ground the positive input because the voltage here is zero then the voltage through the capacitor is just Vi and if that's so then we can use the formulas to calculate this so here we have our differentiator now let's see if we can build an integrator then so again we're gonna magically create an operation amplifier here and this is minus this is plus then here we take Vo here now let's see we ground also this input so this is at zero volts then here what we do is let's put a resistor here this is the voltage we want to integrate Vi this is resistor R and this is a capacitor C okay so there is a current I flowing here this is at zero volts by the same virtual ground method the current also flows into here now let's uh, solve the circuit so this current here the uh, let's calculate this current so this current I is equal to VI VI uh, and here we have zero volts so the current is equal to VI over R this current has to flow through the capacitor so the current through a capacitor again is I is equal to C D V C by DT so I will be equal to C times the derivative of the voltage across the capacitor what's the voltage across the capacitor? the voltage across the capacitor is going to be uh, 
minus VO because here is zero volts so this is zero volts and this is VO so we have C times the voltage difference across the capacitor which is so we have D by DT of zero minus VO and this is because the current is going this way because the current is going this way then the voltage is higher here than it, it is here uh, we are assuming that it is because the current goes from here to here so the voltage here has to be higher than the voltage here so that means that the voltage difference across the capacitor is this voltage minus this voltage and again that's because the current is flowing this way so because the voltage here is zero volts and the voltage here is V naught the voltage difference across the capacitor is zero minus V naught which is just V naught so I is equal to C D by DT of minus V naught and we these currents are the same because the current is, there is no current flowing here into the negative inputs of the op pumps all the current goes through the capacitor so we have that VI over R again is equal to C minus C D V naught by DT and if we divide both sides by minus C we have uh, minus VI over RC is equal to D V naught by D T and now we integrate both sides with respect to time and this implies that then that minus 1 over RC times the integral of VI with respect to time is equal to V naught is equal to V naught so V naught V naught here V naught is equal to minus 1 over RC times the integral of VI so we have our integrator so this is uh, I hope you've had some uh, uh, some uh, help and uh, I hope you had you can uh, enforce your intuition on how this is done uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching